Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. Our channel is all about the food. We do taste tests, grocery hauls, and what's for dinner. And we are kicking off another week with something that we had in the freezer. Howard made dinner tonight, and this is a skillet meal from Sprouts. And um, it is mushroom and truffle, I think it's popper deli. I'm probably saying that wrong. And it's egg noodles and black olives and mushroom and truffle sauce. So, if you've been watching our channel for a while, you know that Howard and I have tried some other things um, with truffle and we really didn't like the flavor, but I don't know what possessed me to buy this. The other thing is um, it has olives in it and I didn't realize that when I bought it because Howard hates olives. But let me show you what it looks like. Here it is. And um, I brought up the truffle thing because both of us were okay with this pasta. It doesn't really have a strong um, truffle flavor at all. And Howard, who does not like olives, said he didn't mind the olives either. I don't think you can really taste them. I didn't, I don't think he did either. But you can definitely see the little, um, little flecks of olive, olives in there, right there. And then we are having side salads. So here's my side salad and those little mushroom things are from the salad dressing, shiitake sesame. It's my favorite salad dressing. I've talked about this before. And then for dessert, um, I got an email in, I got an email from Nothing Bunt Cakes and they are having their BOGO special, buy one, get one free. So I got my favorite lemon and then Howard usually likes to try the flavor of the month and this month it is lemon raspberry. Let me show you what this side of it, there it is. So he's gonna be trying that one. So this is what we're having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey you guys, um, as you know, I am still trying to use up stuff that is in my pantry and freezer. And this is one of the things that I had sitting in my pantry for a while. Um, I got this from Walmart. And when I picked this one up, I picked up several others. So you'll be seeing some more of those. But this is Street Kitchen. It's an Asian scratch kit and it came with three little packets. So it came with some sesame seeds and some garlic paste and then the teriyaki sauce. If you flip over the little packaging, it tells you what's in the packet and then what you'll need. So um, chicken pieces, so I am using boneless skinless chicken thighs. You need bell pepper, we don't have any bell pepper and um, I didn't wanna go to the store and get some so I'm gonna leave that out. I do have an onion and I am cooking the jasmine rice right now. So I'm gonna to start to prep everything. I'm gonna cut up the chicken and get that marinating in the sauce, which is what it says, that paste. And then I'm gonna slice up the onions and then I'll show you what everything looks like um, in the skillet. Okay, so here it is guys. It is cooking, cooking away, as you can see. Um, all I did was sear the boneless skinless chicken thighs and then I added in the onions and then I just added in the teriyaki sauce, so I'm gonna let this cook down a little bit. And then I'll show you what everything looks like when I have it all plated up. So here is the chicken teriyaki all plated up and I made some broccolini as well. I just sauteed that with some olive oil and uh, garlic salt and a little sesame oil. Um, but here's the teriyaki chicken. Howard and I tried it and we both said it was okay. Scale of one to five, five being the greatest, we gave it a three. Um, it doesn't have a very strong teriyaki taste and I do really like teriyaki. This was just okay, but I probably would not buy it again. It was simple to make, um, but eh, I'll skip it. So anyway, this is what's for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so I am eating two items, one from my pantry and freezer. One of them of course is the chicken wings and the other one is the pasta. Still trying to eat what I've got. So um, if you've been watching our channel for a while, you know how much we love this pastaroni, sour cream and chives, it's so good. One box makes two servings, which is perfect for us. And this is what it looks like. And then we are also having these hatched chili wings that I picked up from Kroger during a haul. It's been maybe, it's been a couple of months ago. We've never um, tried it before I picked it up. And we just tried a little bit of it today and it's pretty good. It has a little sweet taste to it. Now, I did not use the entire package 
of the hatch chili because I thought it would be too salty. But as you can see, uh, the wings are still really well coated and they have a good flavor, but they're not super spicy, which is, you know, I was kind of hoping for a little bit of a kick, but it feels like it's more, and it tastes more sweet to me, and Howard said the same thing. Um, we both said it has good flavor, so we're gonna enjoy our dinner tonight. But anyway, this is what we're having for dinner tonight, and see you guys next time. Hey guys, so here is a, another meal. Um, from our freezer. We are trying this freschetta pizza uh, brick oven. I don't think we've had this before. And here it is. And Howard cooked this directly on the oven rack and then he put it on a pan, of course, so that we can cut it. But here it is, it looks pretty good. Can't wait to dig in. And we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, we are at Fish City Grill and it's still loud in here, but this is Howard's plate. He is having crawfish etouffee and there are fried crawfish on top. And then let me show you my plate. I am having a shrimp platter with green beans, fried shrimp, mashed potatoes, and a couple of hush puppies. So this is what we're having for dinner tonight. See you guys next time.